Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Cancer. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. Cancer, what's happening for my Cancers? What is going on for Cancer? I have divorce. Yeah, uh, Queen of Cups. So you can be open and closed at the same time. Are you closing something out or you open to something else? Um, okay, King of uh, Knight of Cups. So this could even be just you finding um, emotional security uh, with yourself, by yourself. Maybe even, you know, getting offers for dates, uh, invitation. Oh, I heard like you're getting like well wishes even like through a tough time, tough circumstances. Um, some of you are dating, like serial dating, but you don't want anything serious. You're kind of closed off to love. Let's see what else is happening for Cancer. Full moon. So this full moon could have been significant or will be significant. So the full moon talks about, you know, closing things down, shutting it off, and releasing. So something about you releasing something here. You release something. Um, yeah, this page of wands. Maybe you release... Uh, you release one thing and now you're starting a new thing this new thing could be just a new you you know just a new vibration you're coming out renewed i'm releasing that old relationship that old stagnant situation and now i'm going into something new with somebody new or just by myself so that's what i'm getting for you um cancer you're just like i don't even care no more i, I cannot care anymore you're releasing um, maybe stagnation a stuck relationship, this makeup to break up, listening to the lies, you, you're no longer dealing with it. Um, and then you're also coming out renewed. You may be even getting a makeover, okay? Or you get, you're making yourself over, maybe from the inside out, or both ways, outside, inside. Um, you're living life on your own terms, doing what you want to do, how you want to do it. What is happening? What is going on? for my cancers what do you have for cancer listen to your intuition you understand that you're a gift you got something to give to every situation uh, you got a layered personality you're like an onion okay you pull back the layers baby um you just really uh, you might even be starting to work on your fitness you may be ex accepting your body your curves and all uh, you may be doing your hair different Everything about you is changing. Let's see. Or you're, if you're a guy, you're getting your hair cut different. Self-employment. So you may be deciding. This also sometimes come out when you're just choosing yourself, okay? So it could be self-employment or you're just choosing to put more energy focus on yourself, okay? And doing things on your own terms. Some of you could be letting something go with the full moon. Letting a career go. Letting a job go. You're going to go into self-employment. You're going to explore making your own money. Living on your own terms. Doing what you want to do. Yeah, windfall could be coming in. Oh, good luck, money. You got money coming in. You got good luck. You're open to opportunities um, because you release something. Maybe around that full moon or you're releasing something or you have. Yeah, you d made a decision here. So you cut away something. Um, this could even be, I heard divorce. You could be getting divorced. It says get some rest. Let something rest. Stop pounding at it. Or you told somebody else in your life, stop pounding at it. It ain't going to work. You know, no is no. No is a complete sentence. It is what it is. I don't want it. Um, do the work. Let it rest. And then be open and, and rest in the energy of abundance. And know that it's coming back to you. I've done the work. I've done the hard work. Now it's time for me to receive the rewards. So think about it like this, um, Cancer. So if when you're doing something consistently over and over again, you're like this, right? So if anything else tries to come into you, you might miss it because you're, it can't, it can't penetrate, right? Because you're like this. But we, because sometimes in our lives we have to be like this. We have to do over and over. We got to overtime work. Blah, 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 and we got to make it work, you know. And then when we've done enough of that, we need to let it rest. And now, anything and everything, especially the vibration that we put out to the world, it can come back to us because we're we're at true 
inertia. We're, we're resting. We're open. We're in that um, empress, abundant type of energy. So when you hear these readers and you hear uh, energy workers saying, be in the flow of abundance, you can't be in the flow of abundance if you're still doing this. It's either one or the other. It's either you're doing a lot of work or you're in the flow of abundance and you're saying, I've done the work. Now I'm just going to rest and wait for the return, the reward. You also, this also may be indicative of you've done enough work in a relationship. You don't need to do anything else. There's nothing that you can do. You may even be telling someone that there's nothing you can do or say to, to change my mind. We need to let it rest. Gracefully aging. So some of you are maturing. That's what I'm talking about. You know, just kind of like maturing, leveling up. Again, um, accepting yourself. You know, in totality, the inside and the out. You may have been beaten down um, mentally, verbally, emotionally about some situation, relationship. You're gracefully aging. You're learning from the experience. You're not just going away from it. Like, Woe is me. And, you know, that always happens to me. And, you know, that's pity and that's manipulation. You want to get people to view you through the eyes of um, um, sympathy and pity. And maybe even, um, you know, generosity. You want somebody, you don't you want to lean on the, the kindness of strangers. But no, I don't think that like these cancers are that kind of like toughening up and, and, and learning from this experience, whatever it is. And keeping the faith that things are changing and turning around. Being in the energy of flow, abundance, and keeping the faith. Wow. And welcoming the new. So you can do at this point. Let's get you some advice to move forward. Advice for cancer at this time. Page of Cups. So there might be somebody new coming into your life. You're developing your clairvoyance, clear audience. You're how you commune with the divine, with the universe. How do you receive your messages? Can't make it up because then you got the magician behind it, which talks about channeling. How do you receive your messages? You may be the subject of gossip right now with the Page of Swords. Ace of Swords, but you know the truth. The truth always trumps a lie. And I always have that saying about myself. If I start telling the truth about so many people that have lied or in or lying on me, whoo, they'd be quiet. They'd be quiet for an eternity. So it's like some of you are just going to rest in the energy of quiet. You know the truth. You made some decisions here. The irrevocable. The inevitable. You knew that it was coming. You knew that you was going to have to quit. You knew that you was going to have to divorce. You knew you may have children involved in this or young people. You may be looking at the tarot. You're trying to gain some knowledge. Somebody's trying to gain knowledge about you. Maybe even spying on you. Somebody's making empty promises. You know it's not the right time to take this person back. Even if you were flirting with the idea of taking them back, you know the timing is all. It ain't... I can't take you back after a week. You ain't changed shit in a week. Stop lying. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are choosing just to be like a single mom, working mom, working dad, or you can work something for yourself, or this is a fruitful, uh, fertile time in your life. It's time for you to plant seeds. Um, you might even be flirting with the idea of self-employment. That was the first card that came out. You're taking time to... Just more so bask in the energy of flow, you know, abundance, maybe like opulence. Um, you could live in a very exclusive place or you may even find an exclusive place or digs or home or something like that. You're furnishing your home. You are uh, taking care of yourself, working out, looking good. This is time for you and to put all energy into you. Pull back and stop giving, okay? It's, cancer is a feminine energy in which... The feminine energy works like this in the belly. It goes in a circle. So it's all about, you know, self. But you maybe you've been in your masculine energy, um, Cancer, you've been projecting outwards and giving because masculine energy is outward and the feminine energy is in. It's the circle and then the man is the point, is the like thing that looks like an arrow, right? Um, It's time for you to be like resting some feminine energy. Even if you are a man, Aquarius, and you're listening to this, 
Like, you just need to be rest. Like, just... I can't do nothing. I'm sorry. You know? I'm put up, baby. I'm put up. This is what you got to tell them. All right? This is what I have for you. Uh, I was going to say Aquarius. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Down in the comment section, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight, I will be live Thursday, and I'm going to be answering your questions for free. So come. Uh, thank you, Cancer. Many blessings. I got to let you know. Somebody is bothered by your energy. Okay. Anyway, um, thank you for being here. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.